Hi, my name is Jill Herman, and for several weeks I have been sharing the stories of other people who asked themselves what if, who said yes to the mission and the business and the health of Juice Plus, and they have asked me to share my story. So many years ago, about 10 and a half years ago actually, someone was generous enough to share with me that there is a way to get 30 vine ripened, clean, non-GMO fruits, vegetables, and berries in a very, very wide variety, 30 different plants in a really convenient, affordable uh, form. And it was in a capsule or in a chewy, like a gummy. And I was fascinated. I was extremely intrigued right away. Uh, the person who shared this with me was a Yale-educated physician, an integrative medicine physician at that. And she told me that this had changed the health picture of her family. And that was really, really intriguing to me. So besides the fact that I was interested in this uh, product for my family, I mean, just right out of the gate. Why? Because it was fruits and vegetables. It just made sense. I knew that nobody was getting enough fruits and vegetables, including my family. We were sort of eating the rotation. I don't know if you can relate to that. Eating fruits and vegetables, but the same ones over and over again. Um, and we knew that we needed more, but I wasn't really sure on our budget and with our schedule and with three kids under, under nine, how to make that happen. So one, I was intrigued because it was food, it was convenient. It was an easy sort of mom hack. And so I embraced the product for my family just right out of the gate um, and, and really had no expectations. My only thing I knew what would happen is that we would um, be doing better with regard to prevention because I knew that every health organization in the world was recommending more fruits and vegetables. And I knew it would get rid of some mom guilt um, but I, and give me some peace of mind. But I had no expectation for it changing our health. I truly didn't. That's where my skeptical nurse brain came in where I had very limited education and knowledge about nutrition and knew a lot about um, uh, medicine and just did not see the power of fruits and vegetables to the full extent of what you know they're capable of. So when we started feeling better and I started getting more energy and our digestion improved and our immune systems improved and we stopped getting sick so much and my irritable bowel syndrome um, stopped flaring up completely and my daughter's eczema went away and my child's constipation was resolved and we just got so strong we started craving more fruits and vegetables. Um, when my migraines got better, when my seasonal allergies went away, um, when all of those things happened, I was blown away. I never saw any of that happening, to tell you the truth. I was very humbled. But before any of that happened, as soon as this physician told me that there were fruits and vegetables in a capsule, in a capsule, I immediately thought of everybody I knew. I did. I thought of everyone I knew, and I thought, you know what? Everybody needs this. Every mom I talk to wants to get fruits and vegetables into their child. Everybody wants to eat better. This is something I think everybody needs, but also will be very interested in. What was happening behind the scenes that this physician did not know that I will share with you is that I hardly had any money. Um, I was working very hard as a registered nurse. Um, I was married at the time and my spouse um, didn't make a lot of money. Uh, we were very stressed financially, very stretched financially. I found that there just weren't enough hours in the week for me to, to work as many hours as I needed to to get the money that we not just needed, but that I wanted. There were things that I wanted for our family that maybe we didn't have to have, but I was just tired of always saying no to myself and to my children all the time. I mean, no is good, and it's good for kids to hear now. I truly believe that, but I really just didn't have that freedom of choice. I had to say no to vacations at least 10 years in a row. Um, I had to say no to um, clothes that my kids wanted and even that they needed. Um, I said no to any kind of self-care, you know, for myself. We didn't spend any, any extra money um, than, on our base, than outside of our basic, you know, expenses and needs. The other thing that was going on in my life, um, and I don't know if you can relate to this or not, but uh, I was in a job that I would describe as noble. Um, I was proud of being a nurse. It, it felt good. It gave me some sort of like emotional revenue, making a difference in the world and helping people. Yet, in addition to that, I wasn't paid what I deserved. I couldn't make any more than the hospital said I could make. No matter how hard I worked, no matter how skilled I was, no matter how well I did, no matter how, what um, intensive care setting I, I put myself into or 
what kind of risks I was willing to take. I couldn't make any more money than they decided I was worth. And I also felt so much stress and pressure every day that I worked. And I also missed my children so much that it created a lot of stress and anxiety. Every time I left my kids to go to work, I wanted to be home with my kids, but yet I still wanted to make money and needed to make money. I had this, this inner struggle going on where I really wanted and needed to earn extra money, earn money. I needed to. I wanted to be with my children all the time. Not possible. I also wanted to have something outside of my children, um, a passion and a purpose. I enjoyed that part of having a career as a nurse. So I really didn't think there was an option to have all of those things. In fact, when I did work as a nurse and I described it to some of my colleagues, I actually had some friends and colleagues laugh at me and say, there's nothing like that that exists, Jill. There's nothing out there where you can have all those things. I said, there has to be. There has to be, and I'm going to figure it out. I'm a very tenacious person. Um, I created different career paths for myself as a nurse so I could get more autonomy, autonomy, more income, and a little more freedom. But still, I wasn't quite getting what I wanted. I still was a slave to the calendar of the hospital, the schedule of the hospital, um, the stress that was brought on by them, and then also by, by the job, and then also the income. I could not control my income. There were only so many hours in a day, right? So when this physician shared this, this fruits and vegetables in a castle with me, I immediately thought everybody needs it. I think most people will be interested in it. And you know what? This might be what I've been looking for. With no business background, honestly thinking that the idea of sales made me itch, you know, and I just couldn't even imagine being a salesperson. I was one of those people who was afraid of sales. I looked at it and still thought, man, this thing smells good. There's something about this that I need to pursue. So I asked her. Is there any way I can work with you? Is there any way I can get the word out about this product to people? And she, that's when she explained to me that it was an online franchise. That's when she explained to me that she had done the same thing, that she had worked for years as a physician and she was struggling as well and said, I wonder if there's another way. And she embraced this business model. So I said, yes. And I will tell you that with working full time with three small children, struggling financially, having a lot of stress at work, giving my children leftovers, basically. In other words, when I was home with my kids, you know, I was stressed and exhausted about the lack of income and the lack of time. Um, so when they were with, when I was with them, I wasn't fully present. I was always dreading the next shift or dreading the next bill. Um, I was able to, to grow this business in the midst of all that, in still moments from this, my phone. And my biggest tool was my heart and my voice. And this phone was my office. And I was able to build a business in stolen moments. And I mean, on the way to work, on the way home from work, during nap time, while the kids were playing outside or watching a movie, um, waking up extra early on the weekends before work. I found specific times where I could work this business and grow this business. And this whole business, by the way, is simply helping people with their health. But by doing that, with no pressure on me from the company and no mandatory quotas and no inventory and none of the headaches that I thought normally came along with home-based businesses, I was able to make a few hundred dollars a month and then three or four and then $500 a month. I was able to work less hours and then less hours, say no to those extra shifts, say no to the overtime time and a half pay, say no to the weekend shifts and the holiday hours, which I always had to say yes to because it was more money. I got to start saying no to those things and saying yes to my kids saying no to those things, saying yes to myself, saying no to those extra hours and that pressure and that stress and saying yes to my life. So this didn't happen overnight. Over the course of four years, this business, which pays like a business, if you work it like a business, if you're willing to be vulnerable, generous, compassionate, and grow as a person, it will pay you like a business. This business paid me a paycheck that matched what I was earning full time, working all three jobs, as a registered nurse. And at that point, I got to go into the hospital to the coworkers who I loved and the career that I had loved for so many years and say, it's been real, but goodbye. <laughs> I left and I came home to my family. And it was a moment I will never forget for the rest of my life. Not every woman needs to or wants to be home full time, but I knew that I was coming home to them, but also a career, still having a career and not a job, not a clock in and clock out job, but a business that I created myself with a team of people who I love and who I handpicked 
to a community that embraced me and cheered me on and challenged me to be the person that I could be instead of the person that I used to be. That income grew. Um, it wasn't a get rich quick, but it grew and it grew and I kept growing as a person and working. And eventually that business actually ended up paying me a six figure income. So humbly, I will share with you that at this point, 10 years after I said yes, I make a very, very healthy, and I have for a while, six-figure income of residual income. That's the power, the residual income. It's uh, 2.30 in the afternoon right now, and I'm going to go and pick my kids up from school. I took them to school this morning. I drive them to all of their practices and their games and their physical therapy appointments and their orthodontist appointments. I'm there for all of the moments that I missed when they were little, and, and, and I have this amazing community passion purpose and business in addition to that. So I'm so glad to have been able to share with you what happened when I said, what if, and I'm so glad that someone was generous enough to share this opportunity with you. And I can't wait to see what happens when you ask yourself the same thing.